on that mission, that will, uh, that will contribute hugely to the development of an uh, uh, ecosystem. Um, as we said uh, last year, uh, whether AI can truly take off, there are a couple of important uh, uh, factors, one of which is whether the enterprise market would take off, or in other words, whether there would be more enterprises and uh, industries to adopt AI. Chong. From when we look at the industry or enterprise adoption of AI, I would say AI today is still in a very early stage. Huawei has quite comprehensive and a strong enterprise business. That's also another advantage we have as we build out our AI-related ecosystem. Um, to recap a little bit, uh, we know it is very challenging and also very critical <coughs> to develop an ecosystem. We are going to rely on our advantages um, of a comprehensive portfolio spanning device, edge, and cloud and also leverage our full stack all scenario uh, AI portfolio to address that uh, challenge head on and uh, to work on the ecosystem. And only when the ecosystem truly takes off, the all uh, scenario full stack uh, portfolio can deliver value. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna take a question from the UK. And it comes from Chris Kelly, who is from Total Telecom in the UK. Will the Ascend 910 AI processor be made available in the UK? If so, when can we expect to see it available? Uh, just um, uh, um, um, uh, 然后这个具体时间我还没有这个想过，但是我认为我们的AI910无论是这个基于深吞910的这个Atlas这个板卡，或者服务器，然后以及基于这个深吞910的云服务，来帮助这英国的这个大学科研机构进行AI研究和AI
And uh, what is the product that applies this chip in the future? And question number two is, what is the commercial product that you, SN910, uh, will launch in Vietnam? Thank you. Uh, Let's,呃,Eric,还提到了,Ascend系列,还有,呃,Nano和这个Tiny。那这些这样一个芯片或者IP会以怎样的产品形态出现?那第二个的话,呃,生成九幺零什么时候会在越南市场推出?这个,